Welcome to Nova Scotia, Canada. Once again, Thank you, my Jason. friend. Thank you. Glad to be here. 2010 was the last time I think you have came here. Would have been? Pro you would know, so yeah. probably. Yeah. So, freezing temperatures. February was like minus that. 15. Guns N' Roses playing the Metro Center. Uh, Sebastian Bucks playing also. Danko Jones, I do believe. Yeah, they were cool. Yeah, that, that, yeah, I just remember that one. Now, I was waiting outside to go and see Rob DeLuca and finally meet him. Did I make you wait in the cold too long? You did like the rock stars. But because we were doing sound check, probably. Yeah, no, it's fine because what you do is you wait, and then you, you tough up to the environment. No, not at, <laughs> not at minus fifteen. No, that's just not cool. No, <laughs> no. Let's just forget about that, but keep it in the interview because it is funny. Um, no, you've you've been doing long years with Sebastian now. Yeah, and I think I'm in my thirteenth year, and it's going great. We're rolling across Canada right now on a North American tour that's pretty extensive. I've been to Canada a bunch of times, obviously yeah. we've, we've talked, uh, you know, I think this is the most extensive Canadian tour I've ever done, because right. we're doing like some small markets like Red Deer and you okay. know, places I've never heard of. Um, so tour's going great, um, Baz is kicking ass as usual, the band sounds fantastic, we're having a lot of fun, we're getting along. Yeah, you know, it's, it's good times. So and also, um, UFO is going on their uh, yeah fiftieth anniversary tour. Yes, and yeah. that's going to be interesting. Yeah, it is. In it's, a lot of ways. It's, it's bittersweet. You know, I've been with them for ten years, and uh, it's going to be it's going to start in March in in England, and um, I'm not sure of their itinerary yet, but it it'll be throughout the year, maybe hopefully in early 20 it might go till maybe not and then it's their 50th anniversary tour as you mentioned and then they're going to retire yeah. so pretty pretty crazy do you foresee that you know a lot of these legends are going to start to saying all right it's the end because um yeah i mean it's just an age thing for, for starters you mm -hmm. know it's it's inevitable like these it's you know imagine you know i think it's hardest personally i think it's hardest on vocalists and drummers yeah vocalists not even so much the performing just your voice changes you know like a, a 70 year old man trying to sing what he did at 24 is you know tough and Phil Mogg is still an amazing singer um, but uh, you know that's that's very difficult and uh, on Andy Parker the drummer he he pounds those drums okay. every night and you know like he recorded that stuff when he was some of that stuff when he was 19 18 19 you know so and he's doing great. I'm not no no critiques. I'm just saying, like I can imagine people thinking, like you know, the drummers and singers at that age thinking, like this is hard, you know. Yeah. So God bless them. You know, they they put out twenty, thirty records. You know. That's a lot. And some of them with classic album covers too. Yes. <laughs> Obsession. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. There's um quite a few good ones. You know, also going to Michael Shanker. I'm a fan of him. Mm -hmm. You know, which there's a lot of people that are. I'm sure you like him too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never met him though. No, no. I've never met interviewed him, him once. Him or Pete Way, I've never met. Yeah. Pete so. Way. Pete Way crashed the interview I did once. Ah. Um, Herman Rarebell, drummer Scorpions. Yeah. He was at his house. One time you t you told me something I didn't know that Pete played with Ozzy. Yeah. And I thought he had almost played with Ozzy but he did you're right great memory you got because yeah. um, I wasn't even going to say I was that. like oh, I didn't know about that yeah it was like, very right. yeah I was uh, correct on that because now you're saying I remember that too yeah and there's um, some few pictures that exist oh you know, yeah because uh, yeah, yeah I don't I don't know how I, I did see pictures of them with it, um, with Ozzy which is great because when you're with the Oz you're a part of history, you're, right? You're, you're a made man. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> now, you still look fine and Thank you. exactly the same like I last seen you eight years ago. I'm trying to keep healthy, you know, on, uh, out here on the road, you got to be conscious of that because it's, the, like, you know, especially across, across Canada, the, the drives are 8 to 12 hours a, a day, so we drive overnight, which, and we sleep when, when the bus drives, and that sounds maybe for some people it might sound easy and for other people they might realize how difficult it is because sometimes yeah. it's hard to sleep so you have to be conscious of your health of your sleep how much you're drinking yeah you know your diet 
you know, all that yeah. stuff. So sleep work, also, you know, exercising, you know. So I try to keep as regular with all that stuff as possible, even in this crazy environment, you know. Because it is crazy. It is crazy. And then you meet um, crazy fans also sometimes. And how's that? <laughs> Am I one of them? <laughs> are you implying that you are? No, no, no. <laughs> No. Yeah, no, it's, you know, rock and roll is, a, 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 to me, a, a high art form. It really is. So, like, guys who are into it, girls who are into it, it's all cool. I, I hate when people label people, ne like, might label people negative negatively. Yeah. Like, if you're a girl and you like rock and roll, you're a groupie and it's a negative. You know, like, I, we, we go to the merch table every night and we meet people. And okay. it's, I just love people who love rock and roll because... That's how I grew up, and I yeah. still love it, you know? So, yeah, there's some really crazy fans, but they're they're really nice, and they're into it, and they're informed, yeah. and it's 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 flattering, you know? Because without them, we've got nothing. That's true. You told me one thing in 28, uh, 2008. Being humble is the most important thing a musician can be. Is that still true? Well, it's interesting that... You, that you mentioned that because I don't remember that, but I do know that I've always felt like humility is important. Um, you know, that's a personal thing. You know, everyone is different, and they have their different priorities. For me, it's 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 a high priority yeah. still, and always has been. So. Yeah, because when the people you idolize, you can actually get down to earth with them. Yeah. You know that. That'll sell two more albums. Yeah, and even you know, or something yes, like that. Yes, but even if it doesn't, the reason, the more important reason is is to be humane. Yeah, you know, to be to be nice to people and show some compassion. So, especially if they've been like standing out in the cold waiting, you know, with with an album to sign or a ticket to sign, you know, like yeah, that's that's saying a lot. So, but yes, also they'll be your fan for life. So that's yeah. that's another positive thing that comes from it. You know. But just to be nice to them, you know, like, you know, they don't have to be there, you know, like, so it's it's a great thing, you know, so you should show your appreciation. Yeah. Touring after all these years on tour buses and, and stuff like that, it's hard to sleep, like you were mentioning earlier. The roads in Canada can be bumpy. <laughs> yeah, because then it's they're not brand new roads. And I mean, in the States, I'm sure it's the same situation at so, some places. Some areas it's nice in certain areas it's just horrible yeah you know so how do you perform a great show every night if you're arriving there with bloodshot eyes and all tired well this is what we do you know that's part of it and you have to accept that and not focus on it too much you know because it could you know life, life is what you focus on you know if you want to focus on the negative or the positive you will see that more often so I just focus on the positive of, you know, doing everything I can during that day to have a great show that night. Mm -hmm. So You've kept busy throughout all these years, and what do you foresee in another five years, you know, just keep on yeah, doing I mean, it? Absolutely. I mean, as we discussed, UFO is going to end, but uh, when one door closes, another one opens. Yeah. So, And uh, I, I have a band, Spread Eagle. Of course. That... Um, which we all signed pictures over yeah, here, probably. Yeah. But for these people who might not know, I have a band, Spread Eagle, and um, we're we're writing a we're recording a new record right now for Frontiers Records, cool. and uh, we are unproducing it. It's it's about halfway done. We've tracked drums and bass for 17 songs so far, and when I get home in 10 days, we go right into starting on guitars. So. It's going to be really good, and so I'll get that band back out and touring again. Hmm. Also, I mean, we do little things, but this will now we're planning on coming out much stronger. So, and doing some touring. So, uh, we just went, Spread Eagle just went to England for the first time. Uh, I guess it was about a year ago. Okay. And we went to Germany, which Europe for the first time, Germany and England, and it was great. So, Looking forward to that. So I, I'll yeah. have more time for that. Okay. So that's gonna be good because it's the brand name of the ni uh, 92, 93 era. Yeah. You know. Well, we rock. actually debuted in ninety, nineteen ninety. Ninety. Okay. Why did it take a few years to get into Metal Edge? Um. No, we were. 
No, there was ones before that. Okay, just me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not remembering dates. No, no, no. It's so long ago. Look at your ones from 1990. You'll see, you've, okay. You've, uh, hopefully you'll see us. Oh, I yeah. think there's some in there. I think there's some. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, yeah um, you guys... For next interview, I'll sign those. All right, well, I'll bring some when I uh, look into 1990. To finish off, I just got to say... Thank you for being such a great musician throughout all these years. Thank you. Um, humble, of course. That's one lesson you learned me. Um, I learned you that Pete Way played with Ozzy. So we're teaching each other things. Yeah, a little bit at that time. Um, just enjoy life like you've yeah. taught me to do and uh, to, to be a better musician. Because when you go to see shows like you, because we are musicians also, I know you're you know, a guitar do player. guitar player. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, we love. This. I do interviews and extra stuff. I, I work in the business. I try to. And you know, then it encourages me Good. to go see Sebastian Bach and the boys. Then when I go home, I want to play like the best. Cool. You know? So I'm sure the next people that do interviews will do the same. Encouragement. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think encouragement is. That's not what I'm trying to do, but I think encouragement is nothing but a positive thing, and, yeah. and it's in all walks of life. Encouragement goes a long way. So because the hard rock capital of the world's got to build, build bigger, because it seems that um, the, the releases aren't being there as much as you know. Well, yeah, it's, back in the day. Well, when when Spread Eagle first came out, the hard rock metal was was mainstream, and. Uh, probably the biggest type of music on the charts and now it's very small compared yeah. to that but everything goes in cycles so yeah. if you if you know if you're jumping around trying to chase a, a trend you're always two years behind because that trend has been developing for two years and that band took seven months to record their record that you're chasing and so you're you're behind and and the music industry does go in cycles and the cycle seemed to be going faster and faster. So, yeah, if you're chasing something, you're you're screwed. So, just be true to yourself musically and and personally, and wait it out, wait it out. And that's what I'm doing. You know, I'm still making rock and roll records and all the time, and um, and in rock hard rock will come around again. I guarantee it. It well, always does. We all want that to happen again because it will. Just gotta records be just did it. LPs. Yeah. Everybody's buying LPs now, yeah. so hard rock. Next thing again. Thanks, Jason. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Absolutely. And this is for still is it Metal Legends or Music Legends? Music yeah. Legends. Dot cool. CA. Cool. Yeah. Music Legends. Dot CA. Check it out. Rob De Luca, Jason Sonier. 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 There you go. Yeah. I know how to spell it, but I'm not sure I knew how to say it. <laughs> That's cool. cool. All right, man. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jason. Canada. This is the first thing we're going to show you. You rem remember these are Metal Edge, yeah. So this is the first thing we do. Okay. We have a uh, June 1993 Metal Edge missing cover, of course. Let's turn to this page. Who's that? Oh, nice. That's your picture. That's cool. Rob DeLuca. <laughs> this is when Tommy, our drummer, cut his hair and then a week later he shaved it oh so uh, you want me to sign this of course what else am i going to do with these old magazines now i got them signed That's That's yeah it is wicked nice. i look sure kept almost there oh we got vincent on the cover we got spread eagle oh, here yeah. right there in small you want to sign right here yeah front cover sign this is how you start an interview, you uh, and then you start talking. And then let's go to here page, spread eagle one hundred. Oh, that's a nice one. And then we got another poster. This is a nice picture. Wow. You seen that one? I saw it back in the day, but not in a long time. So. That's wicked. Yeah. Front cover again. Red Eagle. Is there one inside also? Yeah. Let's do the inside first so it doesn't smudge. Good idea. Spread Eagle. Page 100 again. That's strange. They'd like to give you the number 100. Ah. 
There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, this cool one, image there. That was in LA, that photo shoot. Signed front cover too. Nice picture. Yeah. Still rocking long hair, cool hair. Trickster is almost falling out of the magazine. like that we've got some cool merchandise that you probably Not haven't seen in how many years oh, well, it was the last time you saw in some part of that well um i haven't seen it since the 90s yeah so. it took me probably three hours to find this stuff uh, in my a collection of just magazines dust is flying everywhere so rob this is fourth time i interview you last time was it once was on the phone i was in, in the studio in new york yeah. in 20 uh, 2008 2010 i meet you uh, on the bus on the bus, Guns freezing, February weather, cold, cold, cold. 2012, phone interview again. Ah, I forgot that one. I checked it out, yeah, me too. And then, how many years? Time passes time. quick, man. Yeah, you look the same. You as well. Thank I you. recognize you uh, from 20 feet away.